Today, I found him. Huh. Kokomi isn't here yet. Hmm, that's weird. She doesn't seem like the type to show up late to things. Uh, let's wait a little longer. How is she still not here? Do you think she could be in trouble? Let's go ask that soldier over there. Are you looking for her excellency? I'm afraid she isn't here at the moment. I don't know where she's gone. So strange. Guess we should just call it a rain check then? Not necessarily. If I recall correctly, her Excellency has made special provisions for such a scenario in her general operational directives. Uh, let me see. Uh, ah, yes, number 98. Should a visitor from afar come to see me, and should my whereabouts be unknown, direct them to proceed southward until they arrive at a tree with purple foliage. The footnote stipulates that this only applies when Her Excellency has made no communication regarding her whereabouts before disappearing. And even then, only when the visitor in question is of VIP status. As far as I'm concerned, you two tick all of the boxes. I keep this directive on me at all times. I'm sure this is the right course of action. Kokomi really does think of everything. All right, let's find the place she wrote about and have a look. person I present myself as. <sighs> you noticed? <laughs> I guess I haven't quite mastered the ability to hide how I'm feeling. I'll keep working at it. To be honest, I'm not really cut out to be a leader. At first, my dream was to read up on military strategy and perhaps become an advisor. Constantly communicating with people, trying to retain their morale, having to read between the lines, making sure everyone gets the recognition they deserve. <sighs> it's such hard work. You're somehow supposed to make people feel wonderful, just from being in your presence while also commanding their respect. It doesn't come naturally to me. 
And truth be told, it's something I never wanted for myself. But because of my bloodline, I was always going to end up being the Divine Priestess, sooner or later. Like it or not, it's just the way it is. So, whenever I feel overwhelmed, I come here to just lose myself in a book and relax for a while. Don't worry, it doesn't affect my work. I handed over preparations for the victory feast to someone else. I have to make a speech tonight, and I mustn't give the troops any reason to suspect that something could be wrong. This piece was hard won, and I want them to feel at ease. Is there anything we can do to help? I should be feeling energized again soon if I hold off on work for a little longer. <sighs> if only there was some way I could listen to a good read on military strategy. I'm sure that'd speed up the process. I was reading a book last time I was here, but... I only got about halfway through. Oh, where did I put it? We'll find it for you. And then we'll read it out to you, to help you recover. You... do that... for me? Thank you. <laughs> I'm really lucky you came back to Watatsumi Island. Whoa! Look at all these petitions! So does Kokomi make time to deal with these even when she's resting? Sanganomiya Events Cash Flow Statement Consolidated Annual Report on Fishing Production Watatsumi Island Monthly Maintenance Expenses Breakdown? This is a lot of work for one person. And it's on top of all the directives she has to write and the people she has to meet day to day. It's no wonder she gets burnt out from time to time. <sighs> Let's track down that book and help her feel like herself again. Look! Could this be the book she wanted? Swordfish Captain came back today. Energy plus four. Uh, that's... that's just... Uh... Give it here! <laughs> Guess that was the wrong one. Let's keep looking. This one, right? Look, there's even a bookmark! None of the other books have one, so she must have finished reading those already. Ooh, it's pretty dense. Paimon doesn't understand a thing. Well, let's take it over and read it to her. Is this the book you wanted? Hmm... I'm not sure, actually. Could you read a bit out loud? <sighs> yes, that's the one. Thank you. Kokomi? Kokomi! Oh no! She's fallen asleep! What are we gonna do? Tonight's the victory feast! Not to mention that the peace talks are just around the corner! She's got so much to do! You sure that's a good idea? Hmm... She does look pretty exhausted. Guess there's still some time to go, too. Alright, let's keep her company while she rests. Avoid disaster... <sighs> Protect peace at all cost. Oh, the war is over. <sighs> Things are slowly getting better. Oh. Did you see? <laughs> what time is it? Did I fall asleep? Yep, you've been out for ages. It's nearly time for the feast. Oh, I can't believe it got so late. <sighs> I 
haven't slept that peacefully in so long. That's gotta be three whole energy points right there. Should be enough to see me through the peace talks. Thank you. Well, we better get ourselves over there. It's nearly time to light the bonfire. Woohoo! Kokomi's back to full energy! Good to have you back. Everything's in place for the feast, but I still need to give a quick speech before the festivities begin. Oh, how much energy will that take? Do you think you've got enough? Don't worry, I've got plenty. Thanks to you two, I recovered more quickly than usual. That's great! We'll be rooting for you! Welcome, everyone! Today is the day that we celebrate our victory. Recently, our war with the Shogun's army came to an end, and we finally saw the abolition of the Vision Hunt Decree. None of us can know what the Inazuma of the future will look like. But tomorrow, I meet with the Tenryo Commission for Peace Talks. I give you my word that I will strive for peace for Watatsumi Island once and for all. Thank you all for your valiant efforts throughout. Truly, it is only through those efforts that we have been able to prevail in this trying war. This feast is held in honor of each and every one of you gathered here today. I hope all of you get to relax and enjoy our hard-won victory. <laughs> Tonight seems to have gone off without a hitch. I'm so glad it's all going smoothly. People tend to be more open when they're in a good mood. Uh, could I ask you to go around and see what information you can gather? I still have no further leads regarding the issue of potential collusion between the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui. And I'm concerned that something might happen at tomorrow's peace talks. Okay, sure! Go ask around. A friend of mine was really looking forward to this feast. He even promised he'd sing a song with me. Uh, if only he were still here. Ah, <sighs> Watatsumi Island is finally at peace, and it's all thanks to Her Excellency, Sanganomiya. Recently, um, let me think. Well, the biggest thing for us is that we can finally get back out on the ocean to fish. During the hostilities, the open sea was full of warships. We just had to make do with what little fish and shrimp we could get our hands on closer to shore. When the catch wasn't good, we'd all go hungry. Oh, the poor kids were crying all day and night, but there was just nothing I could do. We'd go to bed ravenous and be tossing and turning all night long, trying to keep it together until the morning. At least things are finally improving now. I hear you're captain of Swordfish too, is that right? Well, thank you for your service. Here, have a fish. It's freshly caught, so it's a bit, uh, fishy. But it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. We couldn't possibly. Ah, come on, take it. Without you, we'd probably still be going to bed hungry tonight. Her Excellency always teaches us to repay kindness with gratitude. Uh, okay, well, thanks. Come on, let's go talk to some others. Hey there, K. 
care for some fruit and vegetables? Nature's remedy when you overdo the barbecue. Are you referring to the thing about the Tenryo Commission and the Fatui? I've heard rumors, but nothing too detailed. It's funny you should say that the soldiers seem excitable, though. I've had the same feeling. See that guy over there? He's been acting strange these days, always shouting and waving his spear around when he's got nothing to do. He scared the heck out of me a few times. Ugh, it's a miracle the fighting has finally come to an end. You know, I really hope we don't go making any more trouble for ourselves. Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have much information. If you still have questions, you may as well go and talk to him. Sounds promising. Let's go see what that guy's deal is. of booze huh wait wait don't tell me captain of swordfish too right you actually came back i thought you'd abandoned the platoon and made a run for it -uh. we would never run from a fight <laughs> is that so all anyone talks about these days is peace and stability do you remember what the most important thing is to the resistance you got that right so I'm gonna put you to the test. Time to see if you truly are a bona fide resistance warrior. I'll answer your questions, but only if you can beat me in a duel. Ugh, this guy. Would it kill him to just have a normal conversation? <sighs> what do you think? Are we gonna do this? <laughs> we'll see about that. Terra Smash! You're a strong fighter. <laughs> no wonder Her Excellency chose you. You really do have a warrior's will. <sighs> then maybe you can understand us. Captain, uh, comrade. Will you join us? Uh, we made it up. The story about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the Fatui? It didn't happen. What? Poor Kokomi has been worried sick! You're telling us you made the whole thing up? What the heck were you thinking? This could send you right back into war with the Tenryo Commission! Yes, that's exactly what we're hoping to achieve. Peace talks? <laughs> Everyone's been drawn in by the idea. That's why the future of Watatsumi Island is at stake. What's to stop the Tenryo Commission from stabbing us in the back? And what's to stop the Raiden Shogun from issuing another Vision Hunt decree? We are the Resistance. Everything hinges on our warrior's will. We can't trust the Tenryo Commission or the Raiden Shogun. But we can put faith in ourselves. Surely you agree with that? Right to Paimon. Yeah, everything you said just now was pure speculation, wasn't it? Are you seriously willing to make up a wild rumor and ruin the peace everyone's worked so hard for, all because of some imaginary situation that may not even happen? Don't take that tone with me, acting like you're above all of this. What would you understand? For the sake of victory, we embody the warrior's will to the fullest. You understand? We were all in. Now they're suddenly trying to tell us that none of it matters anymore? You'd have me just put down my weapon and start living like an ordinary person, but how can I? How can I when... when every time I close my eyes, I see the faces of the friends we lost in battle? Every time I see them there in my mind's eye, it reminds me that I can never forgive the Tenryo Commission and never forgive the Vision Hunt Decree. <sighs> I guess you're not one of us. Well, whatever. Go ahead and tell San Gonomiya if you want, but you're too late to stop us now. Too late? What do you mean? Hmm. Darn. Doesn't seem like he's gonna answer that one. What are we gonna do? This is really serious. We need to give Kokomi the full story right away! Thing. 
the whole thing about the Tenryo Commission colluding with the Fatui is baloney. They made it all up. They wanted the peace talks to break down so that they could carry on fighting the war. And they said it's too late to try and stop them, no matter what we do. Hmm, I see. I'm fine. Don't worry. This is my fault. If only I'd perceived what they were feeling earlier, it never would have come to this. I think I understand what Kozen means when he says it's too late. The talks don't begin until tomorrow, but both sides have already sent their guards to the location. They are responsible for making sure the area is safe and secure. I highly suspect that one of Kozen's pro-war co-conspirators will have infiltrated the guards with an intent to reignite hostilities tomorrow during the negotiations. Well, that's no good. Do you want us to head over there now and switch out the guards? That won't work. Firstly, the act of bringing a new team of guards to a neutral negotiation site will put both sides on high alert. It would almost certainly push the pro-war faction into taking action. They would attack the Tenryo Commission's guards and... We'd be in danger of war breaking out once again. Not to mention that we have no idea how many of Watatsumi Island's soldiers are involved in this plot. If we change the guard in haste, we face the issue of not knowing who to trust. Sounds like a really tricky situation. Oh, so is there really nothing we can do about it? Don't let it worry you. What's done is done. Hmm. <sighs> now it falls to me to devise a counter plan. These soldiers crossed the line, but the blame is not theirs alone. Whatever happens, I will find a way to ensure they do not come to harm. Let's meet here again tomorrow. upon us. How do you feel? Prepared? Here, take this. These are some directives I wrote last night. These negotiations are complex to be sure, but I thought about it carefully and realized there are no more than 187 possible outcomes. I took the liberty of writing them all down. This way, you will be able to adapt with speed. No matter how the events play out. Whoa, this is huge! Let's see, fierce dispute, violent escalation, armed revolt, coordinated attack, seize hostages. Wow, there are so many! But you've thought of a solution to each one! Hyman suddenly feels a lot less nervous. Glad to hear it. These peace talks are quite exceptional. It is a major step forward, both for Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate. But any amount of dissatisfaction within our ranks weakens our negotiating position. We will have to work all the harder if we want these talks to be a success. As the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, this responsibility is, of course, mine to shoulder. But would you be willing to lend me a hand? Excellent! Okay. Time to head off.
It's been a while, Kujo-sara. I believe the last time we met was on the battlefield. Yes, where you dealt my forces quite the devastating blow. But before we go any further, what are you doing here? That's right. He's here to bear witness to the proceedings. He experienced the war between us firsthand, and has made an enormous contribution towards securing the peace we have today. I couldn't think of a more suitable candidate. Seems reasonable. Then let's get straight into it. The first item is the Maritime Administration issue. During wartime, we restricted fishing rights for Watatsumi vessels in Narukami waters. We intend to remove these restrictions, but going forward, any of your vessels that fish in our waters will have to pay taxes in accordance with Narukami legislation in order to bring their catch back to Watatsumi. That's fine, but if they're paying taxes, they should also be entitled to protection from the Tenryo Commission while in your waters. Any losses they sustain due to issues of public security will need to be compensated by the Tenryo Commission. Accepted. Let's add that to the peace treaty. I can assure you that your vessels will be quite safe in our hands. Negotiations seem to be going pretty smoothly. The next item has to do with the movement of people and military authority. In the past, our people have been subjected to lengthy interrogations on arrival in Watatsumi, and the same has been true for your people on arrival to Narukami. Economic cooperation between our islands has suffered greatly as a consequence. Few merchants are now willing to engage in inter-island commerce. Since the war is now over, I propose that we have the Yashiro Commission appoint a business council to oversee trade between our two islands. The problem there is that trade is a reciprocal affair. We'll need to involve merchants from both sides in this process if it is to succeed. We cannot give the Yashiro Commission full authority. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Watatsumi Island facing severe shortages of many essential goods at the moment? Having the Yashiro Commission organize everything centrally would work in your favor. True, we're experiencing some shortages, but we will recover in due course. Between the diverse range of goods we can produce ourselves and our strong trade links with other areas, we are capable of sourcing everything we need. Not to mention that your proposal would require separate talks with the Kamisato clan. If they've yet to sanction it, I believe you are going beyond the remit of the Tenryo Commission's authority. Let's leave that aside for now, then. On to the military question. Watatsumi Island's forces will need to come back under the jurisdiction of the Tenryo Commission. That just isn't feasible. Not in the short term, at least. With all due respect, feasibility doesn't come into it. The Tenryo Commission alone has ultimate responsibility for Inazuma's national security. We cannot allow Watatsumi Island to be the sole exception to this rule indefinitely. <sighs> you Kujo scum! Colluding with the Fatui isn't low enough for you already! You just want to take everything away from us! Comrades! Never trust the Kujo! Let's get them! <laughs> Protect Madame Kujo! <laughs> <laughs> Number 16, no wait, 67, or is it 73? Uh, which one is it? moment. Stand down, Tadakatsu! The situation has changed. Please stand by for further orders. Rest assured, I am fully aware of your concerns, but I will deal with the situation from here. Madam Kujo, this is rather serious. I believe you owe Watatsumi Island an explanation? Excuse me for a moment. Nobody makes another move until I have finished investigating. You two, here, now!
speak. Collusion with the Fatui? Is this true? Um... I wouldn't exactly call it collusion, as such. We were approached by a few Fatui. Uh, they mentioned a potential cooperation to keep the war against Watatsumi Island going. At the time, I felt like we could give it a try. After all, there'd be nothing to lose. But we were extremely careful. We didn't agree to anything. We just said they could maybe start by heading to Watatsumi Island and stirring things up a little. Then we'd see how it went. With respect, ma'am, there was no collusion. It was just a one-off conversation. How anyone from Watatsumi Island even found out about it, I have no idea. That's enough. When we return, there will be consequences. Might I remind you that this is the Fatui? Have you completely forgotten what they did to us? You should be having no interaction with them whatsoever, let alone entertaining offers of cooperation. <sighs> so, what did they want out of it? The Fatui's main forces have already left Inazuma. The few who approached us seemed like they wanted to settle a score for their boss. Oh, her subordinates. So they're out for revenge. They want to keep Inazuma in a state of turmoil. One day, I will hunt them down. Every last one. We bear responsibility for this issue. My sincere apologies. I have my own negligence to blame for this state of affairs. Please, grant us another chance to continue the peace talks. <laughs> but of course, Madame Kujo. I have every confidence in your ability to resolve this situation. For the time being, however, there is evidently some discord within the Tenryo Commission's ranks. I would therefore not feel comfortable releasing Watatsumi Island's forces into your command at this time. It seems that I must acquiesce. I will lay this issue aside for now. But we shall revisit it as soon as the Tenryo Commission has resolved our internal issues. As for the trade issues we raised, I will discuss options with the Yashiro Commission and make sure both sides have ample participation in the final arrangement. Seems like Kujo Tsara's on the defensive now. These negotiations should be smooth sailing from here on out. I never knew the Grand Strategist of Watatsumi Island was a skilled negotiator, as well as a formidable commander. I hope that when we meet again, we can continue these sit-down discussions. Settling our differences on the battlefield is rather taxing. I think we can leave things there for today. Once I get back, I will conduct a thorough investigation into the Tenryo Commission's internal issues. I should inform you that we took out a Fatui camp recently. I suspect that before long, they will attempt to re-establish contact with your people in the hope of procuring some assistance. I recommend you say and do nothing on the matter for the time being, lest you tip them off and they disappear. Wait for them to come to you. That way, you can capture them all in one fell swoop. I will bear this in mind. Thank you. I shall take my leave now. Until we meet again. Your Excellency, we... Let's discuss it after we get back. Your Excellency, you knew? I have already been informed on the reasons for your actions. You believe the Tenryo Commission to be untrustworthy and sought to sabotage the peace talks and reignite the war. Fortunately, the end result exposed and thwarted a secret Tenryo Commission plot. Yet, this was purely incidental, and the end certainly did not justify your means. But Your Excellency, so many comrades have sacrificed themselves in the line of duty. If we stop now, 
aren't all of our efforts going to waste? I want to keep fighting. I want ultimate victory, even if it means I have to pay the ultimate price. I understand your sentiments, but you cannot simply impose your will and expect others to bear the consequences. During the war, there were highs and there were lows, and in the end, there was a glorious victory. For you, perhaps, the experience was one of great excitement. But you saw nothing of the countless others who will remember the war quite differently. Most people suffered terribly through each day. Watatsumi Island's people yearn for peace because they have long since given all they had to the war effort. They are tired of treading water and don't need you dragging them back underneath once again. I... but... I understand, I do. And the fault is not yours alone. It was largely an oversight on my part. I taught you to nurture a warrior's will, but never how to let it go. It's not your fault, Your Excellency. It was ours. Our selfishness. Either way, we are ready to accept sentencing under martial law. Very well. Then I hereby declare... But as of today, I am founding a new secret core of the army. This division will be responsible for keeping Watatsumi Island safe and secure, neutralizing any and all threats to the peace of our island. You and your comrades will all be welcome to join, but be warned, the training will be grueling. Perseverance and grit will be in high demand. Your Excellency, what are you saying? I have concluded from today's peace talks that the Kujo clan cannot achieve absolute peace and stability in the near future. Many seek peace, but there are still those who pursue war. It is right that Watatsumi Island moves towards peace, but we must still retain a defensive capacity. Those whose warrior's will is alive and well, I invite you to embark on the most challenging training regimen of your lives. <laughs>